Well, let's do a couple examples. This is an example out of the Ball textbook. It's 7.9. Uh, what is the activity of water in a solution when the vapor pressure of water is 748.2 millimeter mercury at 100 C and at one atmosphere pressure? And assume the activity coefficient of water is 1. Everything's in the ideal solutions. So we don't have to worry about activity coefficients or fugosity coefficients. All right, so let's see if we can see the activity of water. Picture is probably worth something here. So again, we're going to draw our box. And down here we have some water, which is a liquid. And up here we have water, which is in the gas phase. And note that I draw this as an enclosed box. I do that so that you'll have some sort of equilibrium going up and down here. If you just keep boiling the water and there's no constraint here, the water will all boil away like on the top of the stove. So I'm emphasizing here and you have some sort of equilibrium established. This is at 100 degrees C and is at 1 atmosphere. Now what is the vapor pressure of pure water 100 degrees C? 100 degrees C is the normal boiling point of water. Normal boiling point implies a boiling point when the atmospheric pressure is one atmosphere. So this implies that the vapor pressure of water at 100 degrees C is one atmosphere. So if you had pure water down here and you were at the boiling point at, at uh, 100 degrees, the vapor pressure of water would be one atmosphere. It would be boiling, in other words, at equilibrium. Now if we go back to the problem, at 100 degrees, one atmosphere, you don't have one, uh, sorry, 100 degrees, you don't have the vapor pressure of water being 760 millimeters, one atmosphere. Instead, you have it 748. That means that the activity of water is less than one. If it were one, you'd have pure water, and it would be at 100 degrees, and it's boiling. At one atmosphere, you'd have pure water be boiling at one atmosphere. So we're assuming uh, gamma is equal to one and so on. So the pressure of water in the solution is equal to the mole fraction of water in the solution times the vapor pressure of pure water in the solution. And we know at 100 degrees this is one atmosphere. That's the vapor pressure of pure water at 100 degrees. It boils under one atmosphere. We also know that the activity of water will be the activity coefficient of water times the mole fraction of water. And that's, we're saying the activity coefficient equal to one, that'd just be the mole fraction of water. So the activity of water would be the vapor pressure. Uh, so the activity of water, or the mole fraction of water, is the vapor pressure of water divided by the vapor pressure pure water. So the vapor pressure of water in that solution over the vapor pressure of water pure. The vapor pressure given in the problem, uh, 748.2 millimeter mercury. The vapor pressure of pure water at 100 degrees, that's when it's boiling, is 760 millimeter mercury. So that the activity of water in that solution is 0 0.9845. We'll put uh, four significant figures, I guess. All right, so that's how you calculate activities, just as the ratio of the pressure divided by the, uh, above the solution, divided by the pressure if the solution were pure water.